Lieutenant, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming out to Castleton on this rather chilly night to attend the launch of the new Oxfordshire and Cumbria report. This report has been prepared by the Oxford Community Foundation, along with academics and researchers highlighting the issues facing Oxfordshire, as well as showing just some of the challenges addressing these needs. I noticed the other day that the BBC is running a photographic competition of scenes in Oxfordshire. The entries reflect, unsurprisingly, bucolic countryside, beautiful buildings, and a lazy river. We're so lucky to live in such surroundings, but scratch the surface and we discover an alternate reality. Oxfordshire suffers the same deprivations and problems as the rest of England. Homelessness, loneliness, crime, addiction, mental health disorders, and domestic abuse are as prevalent here as in the rest of the UK. This report, however, goes further. It also identifies a few of the many small charities, and there are nearly 3,000 of them in Oxfordshire, from the man repairing and distributing bicycles from a shed in his back garden to a rape crisis hotline, all working to address the new loss that is so apparent and filling the gaps where the state cannot provide. So yes, this evening is unashamedly a fundraiser to support these fantastic local charities. Often too small to organise their own fundraising, I would like to raise a substantial sum of money tonight to add to my OCM High Show Fund, which will be distributed to these local micro-charities and which can help to improve people's lives immeasurably. I should also remind you that today is Just Giving Tuesday. So buckle up and get out your credit cards. <laughs> We're privileged to have Thames Valley Police Assistant Chief Constable Katie Barrett here this evening. Katie will describe what is really going on in Oxfordshire streets and talk about just some of the issues the police face on a daily basis, many of which are a direct result of the hardship that people are going through. Katie will be followed by Zoe Springles, Chief Executive of the OCF, will take us through a video and give more detail about the foundation, highlighting some of the charities it supports, which address the very issues Katie has identified. Hopefully, we won't go hungry or thirsty, as we have local enterprises who have prepared, prepared delicious candies. Damascus Rose, a wonderful enterprise supporting refugee women in Oxford. Waste to Taste, a brilliant idea using waste food to tackle food poverty. Tap Social, a local brewery that employs ex-offenders in its brewery and bakery. The Clink, an offender rehabilitation enterprise. This evening we're tasting products from their bakery <coughs> in Brixton Prison. And this is where I have a real problem with this word. San Capriciano, a wonderful Italian enterprise focused upon helping addicts who fall foul of the law. They produce many products on their estate, and it's their wine we're drinking this evening. Flowers from Allington, Flower, Flower Club, who um, work not only arranging flowers and getting clubs together, they also work with people with dementia. And finally, my friends Victor and Lucy, a famous local Ukrainian beekeeper, and if any of you watch Jeremy Clarkson, you'll know um, who Victor is. Victor's providing honey to the massive rose to make delicious baklava and for you to take home this evening. Before we close, I also want to thank those who prepared the report and made this evening run so beautifully. Firstly, to Susanna Hobson and Kate Pounder of the OCF for their brilliant work in putting together this powerful report and for putting up with my suggestions um, and total lack of IT skills. Um, to the cadets, a great job of welcoming and directing, thank you all. To Greg Brown, who's brilliantly come, um, coordinated this evening, and, the, and to my PA Harriet, without whom I'd be entirely lost. And finally, thank you all for coming this evening. I do hope you found it interesting, inspiring, and the report will stimulate to you to support the OCF. And absolutely 
you finally find it. As Tom Cruise said in Journal of Wire, show me your money! <laughs> <laughs>